Okay, it says that approximately 5.5 .5 into 10 to the power 6 kg of water falls uh, 50 meter above Niagara Falls each, each second. So what is the decrease in the gravitational potential energy of the water earth system each second? So basically water is falling from 50 meter height. So the potential energy earth, uh, earth water potential, uh, potential energy system is decreasing or the water's basically the water's potential energy is decreasing uh, by mgh of course m being the mass of the amount of water and then height is 50 meters and g being the gravitational acceleration so i would say just that mgh and that is 5.5 .5 into 10 to the power 6 kg times 9.8 times 50 and when we do that get 2.695 into 10 to the power 9 joules so that is the change in energy potential energy now the second part says if all this energy could be converted to electric energy it can but if it could be then at what rate would electrical energy be supplied so what rate it could be supplied that would be of course what is the power that's what is the question is asking so w over t now this is happening this change of energy is happening in one second that means that will be the power so this one divided by one second and this is also the energy uh, in one second so basically it will be the same value so that will be two points just the unit will be now what because we are calculating if that were in 10 seconds then we would have divided by 10 of course and so on so this is the energy electrical energy if it could be converted into electrical energy so the uh, C is asking uh, if the electrical energy were sold at 1 cent per kilowatt hour what would be the yearly income okay so in order to do that first we need to convert the energy in terms of kilowatt so the unit has to be kilowatt so that will be i don't know maybe yeah, i will just divide that so 2.695 times 10 to the power 9 yes divided by 1000 or 10 cube so that gives kilowatt and this value is 2.695 of course just into 10 to the power 6 kilowatt so energy rate is given in terms of kilowatt hour so what we have to do is this is the kilowatt of energy we have to multiply by the number of hours in one year if we do that we will get how many kilowatt hours in a year so in order to do that kilowatt hour will be equal to 2.695 times 10 to the power 6 times this is uh, 24 hour in one day and 365 days in one year so that gives the number of kilowatt hours in one year and it becomes 2.361 into 10 to the power 10 kilowatt hour now the cost of electrical energy is given as one cent per kilowatt hour so we have to find what would be the income if in in a year so that will be income will be we have to find in it's better if we find it in dollars instead of in cents so we will just i will just what i will do if it were just cents i could have multiplied by one but I'm then I'm converting in dollar so it's becoming divided by hundred and this is giving us dollar 2.361 into 10 to the power 8 dollars so that's it so we had we got the energy here and then we converted it into kilowatt and then we just multiplied by number of hours because we are, we are if it were in a day we would multiply by just 24 because how there are 24 hours in a day if it were in ma one month then it would be 24 times 30 because 30 days a month 
but it's one year that's why we multiplied by 365 so that many hours in a year that's why we multiplied by this uh, number 24 times 365 and once we had the kilowatt hour value we just we know the rate of energy so we just multiplied since it was sent in we divided by 100 to get it in dollars so 